the best way to do that is to gain some distance and so that is why I've not been writing I just miss writing a lot I'm writing for fun I'm not writing to publish my Wattpad now looks like this everything at the moment feels kind of stagnant Good afternoon everyone, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and yes I am starting my September writing vlog <laughs> and it's currently Sunday the 5th of September obviously, I might as well just address the elephant in the room, I have freshly dyed hair and I just, I love the colour and I'm just really happy about it. Obviously by the time you're seeing this vlog, you would have already seen my hair because this will be going up in October. So by the time this video actually goes up, it will be, it won't be as dark, hopefully, because obviously I've, I would have washed it a lot. And it is like a semi, semi-permanent dye. Semi-permanent is uh, basically permanent on my hair. So this will last me a really long time. And sorry, I can't stop running my fingers through it because it's like freshly washed. So it's kind of annoying me because it keeps like sticking to me because it's, it's 25 degrees outside. It's quite hot and like freshly dyed hair like or freshly washed hair and heat <laughs> not that great i feel like it's been a while since i've addressed the writing situation actually i will even show you something it's basically just been a really long time since i've actually worked on a project or at least it feels like it anyway and <laughs> I can even show you my session tracker for August. This is literally it. I did what six? No I think that's eight sessions actually in total compared to July. Uh, I did a lot in July and that's probably why I didn't do that much in August because in July I did like participate in Camp NaNoWriMo and so I feel like because I pushed myself in July that resulted in me you know burning out very quickly at the end of the month because obviously I'm not used to like doing book work every single day as opposed to other people like I feel like my maximum is probably like four times a week with like book work and creative work in general just because it can be incredibly draining and so i feel like august was just a month of recuperating in terms of writing and obviously i did start reading story genius in July when I was struggling with my fifth draft I think but yes I did start reading Story Genius in July I kind of read it throughout the month of August but honestly like I just said writing didn't really happen apart from those eight sessions that I did so I think intentions and plans for this month will be to finish reading Story Genius and then for the time being I don't I think I'm gonna leave Scarlet Blood Skies for a while don't get me wrong I love the whole book I love the characters and everything like that but it's just I need to be able to work all of my notes and everything from Story Genius into SBS and I feel like the best way to do that is to gain some distance between you know myself and SBS so that's what I'm doing and it's probably going to be a while before I actually start working on SBS again and that's kind of I guess that's kind of the reason why I actually can't remember what the fuck I was saying but because I'm taking like a long break from SBS to gain some distance from it to be able to work on it in the future to you know make it better like just tons better because i've talked about this and how i feel 
Emily's story is very passive compared to her brother Landon um, and his story feels a lot more active and I do think that one day I will write his story but honestly at the moment that's really not a priority but maybe like because I do really need to practice like my story genius skills maybe that's something that i do you know work on landon's spin-off story that might be an idea but the whole purpose of me picking the camera up was to say that i'm basically just going to be reading through story genius this month and slowly working on festival fomo which is my new idea uh, that I started working on funnily, funnily enough when I was in self-isolation and when I got COVID and I think it helped me you know with my sanity and that is literally my only plan for this month because I don't want to overload myself when I've still got quite a lot of other things going on in my life right now like I'm really focusing on my music or I have been anyway and it's been a really good feeling it's actually a very nice sunny day today and I feel like we haven't had sun like this in a while because I feel like for the last few days we've just had clouds I really want to get into the habit of talking about what books I'm reading in my writing vlogs because I feel like it kind of makes sense like the two go together really well. The book that I'm actually reading at the moment is Instructions for a Second Hand Heart by Tamsin Murray. So far I'm really enjoying it. I literally only started reading this like a few days ago and I'm on page 125 and in my mind that is an enjoyable read. I reckon I could probably finish this in another week because it is just that good. But the other thing that I did want to mention is that obviously I've got a long way to go to get back into like an actual writing routine. Obviously, you know, my life is very different now with not being in education. So I don't really have that support anymore like I don't really have that beam in my life so I feel like it's just kind of a given that I'm still trying to figure out the ropes in terms of like actually writing some parts I will vlog other parts I won't I just feel like there's always so much pressure to vlog absolutely everything when in reality I don't and so I'll probably just you know for this vlog I will probably just vlog whenever I want to and hope that I do actually get some sort of writing done this month because the idea is to finish reading Story Genius, keep working on Festival FOMO and like I said that that's it, that's all I'm going to be doing this month and then finish reading this and just generally get back into writing I think. Good afternoon everyone. So it is now Wednesday the 15th of September and I believe the last time I actually vlogged for this vlog was like 10 days ago and I genuinely cannot remember what I've already filmed for this vlog but I feel like I kind of have something substantial to vlog now because I think I've just kind of realised now that one of the reasons why I've been struggling so much to like read through Story Genius and work on Scarlet Bird Skies is because I wasn't enjoying it. I found it very difficult and I just wasn't enjoying the whole thing at all all and it wasn't fun for me and I think that's where the problem lied for me but this month I think it's just gonna be like a writing for fun vlog because you know I love writing writing should be fun but the last few months <laughs> have not been fun 
with burning myself out in July during Camp NaNoWriMo then getting COVID and then just <laughs> everything happening basically in the summer. I just feel like I really kind of lost my passion for writing. You know, it's not a good thing. And it's because I was pushing myself so much with it. And like I said, I was not enjoying it. And I'm trying not to repeat myself, I'm trying not to repeat myself too much. I think you could probably tell I was not enjoying it. It was not fun for me. And I think that's why I turned to music for a while. And I still, you know, do music on a regular basis, not like a daily basis. I'd probably say like two or three times a week, you know, like I used to do with writing. <laughs> and that's why I kind of like took a massive break from writing. I wanted to do more music stuff because it wasn't fun and there are just a lot of things, a lot of reasons why I needed that break and now that I want to get back into writing again because I love writing but I need to do something that's fun and enjoyable and I feel like there's just this big thing on AuthorTube about, you know, writing for publishing or publication and then writing for fun and I feel like writing for fun isn't something that's seen a lot on on here and I feel like just not a lot of people talk about it you know I've realized that yeah I would love to be a published author one day but I just think I'm way too young personally to be actually publishing that doesn't mean that I don't think that young authors can be successful. I do believe that young authors can be successful. It's just a case of, you know, personally, I don't think it's right for me to be publishing anytime soon. In the next 10 years, yeah, I would love to have a few published books, but for me, I love writing and that's kind of why I would never want to be like a full-time author. That was my door shutting by the way because I had it open. I'm home alone. But I never want to be a full-time author because I feel like it would just ruin the fun for me. Yeah, it would be a dream but solely just writing, just writing, no. That's not what I want. I also want to be, you know, releasing music. I want to do a lot of things in my life and I don't want to be confined to just one thing. I want to do a lot of different things in my life. So, because this month is all about, you know, like writing for fun and everything like that, there's not going to be anything to do with Scarlet Blood Skies or any of my other, like, main projects. I'm working on a new slash different project and it's gonna be like a new adult romance because the main premise of it or like the main concept that I got was a staff member falling in love with a manager <laughs> that's just like the first part of it there are gonna be lots of different parts to it and it's gonna be called nothing but everything to hide and I have been working on it already like I've already I feel like I've already done quite a lot for it like I said it's not gonna be something that I publish but it's gonna be something that I, I write to just be read online so people will literally be able to read it as and when I write it but I actually do want to show what I have done so far bearing in mind it's not a lot at all all I've been doing is naming characters and there are probably going to be more that I need to name but this is what I've done so far so we've got the main sort of characters at the top and so the very main character is Bryony or Brienne. I'm not entirely sure on the pronunciation of that. I'd probably say Brienne or something. And then she has an older brother called Reese, and her dad is called Darren but she doesn't have a mum. Well she did have a mum but we're not going into that right now. And then the manager that she falls in love with called 
Matthew Prescott or Matt Prescott. Then all of the colleagues, because obviously it's mainly going to be set in a, a retail, so a shop. And then we have more there. One funny story, I actually really struggled with, with names. Not the main character, like main, not Briony, but Briony. I feel like Briony just sounds so much better. The love interest, Matt. I really struggled with because I really just wanted like some sort of like harsh T sound in it. I mean, I was just going over names like Garrett and oh, what else was on the list? Bennett, Emmett, names like that, Wyatt, Beckett, Ratchet, Grant, Scott, Jarrett, West, Prescott, which is obviously, you know, his surname because it works. Hewitt, Corbett, Laurent, Durant, Pruitt, Cabalt. Cobalt, I'm not entirely sure on the pronunciation of that either. Garrett and Garnet. Though I, there are a few more than just the ones I've just mentioned. But I'm really hoping that because I've now named most of the characters, there, there might be more, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm hoping that once I've had lunch, I can start brainstorming the plot. And then I'm going to do a very rough outline, like very rough chapter outline and then I'm just gonna write because it's meant to be a fun project and it's gonna be fun and if you would like to read this at some point I'm gonna have to link it if you'd like to read it and maybe this will be the way that I start you know gaining a following for my writing I'm excited first I need to have lunch because I cannot work on an empty stomach <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. So it is now Sunday the 26th of September. Yes, it's been a while since I last vlogged because I genuinely cannot remember the last time I vlogged for my for this vlog, for the writing vlog, or the last time I wrote in general. It's been a while because I've been a, a lot more focused on YouTube work and editing and everything like that because if you didn't know, by the time this video actually goes up, it will mark the beginning of my hiatus. So I'm just busy at the moment preparing for that, which is literally in like a couple of weeks. I'm going on hiatus from the 13th of October to the 13th of November. It actually worked out quite well because this vlog is going up Wednesday the 13th of October and then the day I return 13th of November is a Saturday. It worked out quite well. And so that is why I've not been writing or doing any sort of creative work because I've just been throwing myself into YouTube, been really focusing on editing. The same thing I would like to get some writing done. I don't know how likely it is that I'll get to do that because I do have editing to do for literally this Wednesday's video. So the video that goes up this Wednesday. I've got that to edit and though it's not like a long video it is a vlog they do take quite a lot of time to edit I just really want to get something done before the end of September because I don't want to be like a complete flop I just have a lot of other priorities in my life right now writing is not one of them unfortunately I do really want it to be though but I do have I do have to focus on all of those all of the other things going on in my life right now for me to be able to write in the future it's just a whole big ordeal i actually have a coffee talk that would have gone up by the time this is up but that just kind of talks more about my life at the moment and everything like that and what my plans are and everything and why i haven't been writing i feel like maybe that should have been part of this vlog but i just felt like it deserved its own video and I did a whole bunch of other live updates in that coffee talk as well so that will be linked somewhere for you to give it a watch. I just miss writing a lot. I just don't have a lot of time at the moment to do it but yes I really need to go on my walk now so that's all I can really say for the time being. So it is now a lot later. It's actually about 10 past 10. As you can see I've literally just spent the past few hours editing 
and also having dinner which is not how i wanted to spend my evening the video goes up on wednesday so i needed to do it and then tomorrow i need to add the music to it this is literally nothing to do with writing this is just my reality at the moment my reality is not writing instead just talking about it clearly i do want to look over some of my notes tonight from what i have already brainstormed because i can show you i've literally this is all of my notes at the moment so far i feel like all i've all i've really done with my fun project nothing but everything to hide is i've got all of a load of character name ideas because this was when i was trying to come up with names for my main characters and i struggled so much with naming the love, the love interest but i do now have a name and it's literally just gonna be a fun thing you know i'm just gonna write it i'm not gonna worry about like editing though there will be like some sort of editing just not big like professional edits because i'm writing for fun i'm not writing to publish and it will be available to like read online but i still have yet to kind of figure out the logistics of that if you didn't know well because i haven't even told you yet so you won't know the title is a nothing but everything to hide so that's the title and then my main character is called bryony bryony it's bryony Bryony Whitaker and then the love interest is called Matthew Prescott or Matt Prescott though I'm still not entirely sure on that name and it's basically like a forbidden love idea kind of because it's a, a colleague and a manager yeah I probably should do some research oh and then I've just got a list of names for all of the characters so I've also got my main characters at the top the love interest, so new manager, all of the colleagues, that's what this is. Not all of them, what I could be bothered to name. What else have I got here? Oh, and I've then just got some plot point ideas on this. So we've got family, work, love life, personal and school. And then there's more on the back as well. And this will be what I refer to when I do the next step. This is what I'll probably read over. All I'm gonna get to do tonight is just look over these notes, possibly make some more notes, kind of like on how I actually want it to start out because I haven't even really thought about how the whole thing is gonna open yet. That is my update for the time being. You know, I am quite busy with YouTube stuff and I'm just trying to do what I can. My hiatus is coming up soon. I'm excited to get some time to myself to actually write. I mean, YouTube is a hobby. It's not like it's a job. I've just been very sidetracked, but yes. I think that is gonna be it for this evening. Good evening, everyone. Yes, it is now October. It's Saturday the 2nd of October and it's currently about quarter to eight in the evening. It is no longer September so you would think, oh you should probably end it. I'm just like, well no because there's not a lot to this vlog. Nothing's happened, literally. Nothing has happened. My writing has been my writing life is non-existent. I have not worked on anything since, since um, July really, because that's when I probably did anything. I do really want to get some like writing done this evening. I'm literally just gonna be like brainstorming because as you know, this month was supposed to be about writing for fun. That didn't happen. I spent the majority of the month just working on YouTube stuff and I just feel swamped. At the moment, yes, I'm technically preparing to go on my hiatus and I'm really looking forward to my hiatus, but I feel like I've got that feeling of going on holiday, really, because like, if you're at a full-time job, an office job, and you've got a rush to get things done before you go 
before you go on holiday. I've got that feeling. I'm rushing to get things done, you know, to wrap things up before I go on my hiatus. Writing has not happened, but I can tell you what has happened. I have been sorting out the stuff that I definitely, definitely need for this fun project to go ahead. So first of all, I have now sorted out my Wattpad for the book to go on, nothing but everything to hide. That is my fun project, by the way. My Wattpad now looks like this. This is, I would say, a new account, but I've had this account since 2018. I just haven't used it. I've got lots of different accounts on Wattpad, apparently. And so I've basically just changed things and everything like that. This is what it looks like when it comes to the time that this actually goes out online this is what my profile looks like it's just this picture here with this pink background that i absolutely love i did do it myself by the way and i feel like it just kind of gives off romantic vibes and then my at is just chloe elizabeth writes and that's just an old profile picture don't mind that so this is my book nothing but everything to hide will go on and any thing like that that I plan on doing in the future and then if I go to Google Chrome I uh, this is where I designed the background on a uh, Canva by the way if you're interested where is the Canva logo I don't know but I have been designing a lot of different covers for this so this is the first one I ever created and I love it so much, I love the colours so much but I'm just not sure about like the guy's face because you can still kind of see it despite the silhouette and I just don't like the hair or the nose but it's like an actual picture that I've edited and then you've got this one which I would say I'm kind of more drawn to I do think I like this more, I just don't like the yellow in it then this one I love but the guy's nose is so big, like seriously, why? And then this one I quite like actually, that's quite nice and simple, it's just a wide shot portrait. So yeah, you've got that, and then the next one, another wide shot, but I'm not the biggest fan of the colours of this one. I wanted something more like purple, and then I've got this one which I haven't touched, like the ones up to this point, I've actually edited the picture to the colours that I want the covers to have. Doing what I can with the pictures, because they are all pictures. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, or that one. I don't know what it is about this, it just looks like something that I used to create. Especially with the font. No, it's just a no. And then I've got this one, again, I just... Don't really like it i think there's just too much white not the colors that i'm really going for you know because to me blue is sad white is purity and it just doesn't resemble the book and the idea and the concept very well and then this yeah best not to question it i tried doing something and it didn't work out i'll probably go with one of the first four or five or maybe i'll create something else but in terms of like actual writing and everything like that, nothing's happened. I mean, I have I have notes on these sheets of paper that I think I've already shown. I just really need to get some writing done, which is going to be the plan for after dinner. I'm bloody starving though. And I'm also cold. I think I'm going to put my red like hoodie on. Fingers crossed. I really, really just want to get some writing done. I have just got like this creative itch that I need to scratch and I also have like a load of like scene ideas and everything in my head that I get and I don't write down why don't I write them down I don't know this evening it's just gonna be like a whole brain dump just trying to sort out like a rough outline you know like the save the cat beat sheet
everyone it is now monday the 11th of october and it is currently about well it's 10 past four for me right now this vlog literally goes up in a couple of days this writing vlog writing vlog definitely doesn't feel like an actual writing vlog because let's be honest when was the last time i actually you know wrote anything wrote being a very loose term because there are lots of different aspects to novel writing and everything like that. I honestly just don't even know where to start with this explanation of why I haven't been writing, why I haven't really been doing any creative work in terms of book stuff. Obviously this month has been pretty busy YouTube wise. I've been doing a lot of videos, a lot of editing. There was a point where I was like a week ahead of editing and now I'm behind. I'm very much behind because usually with videos that go up on Wednesdays they would be fully edited and uploaded by sun the Sunday before. So this month, in terms of writing, obviously, you know, I've tried to get some stuff done and not a lot. The majority of it, has, I've been just trying to write for fun and I keep saying like, you know, I'm just writing for fun. But writing for fun means that I actually, you know, have to do something or it's difficult because writing for fun, like I can write whenever and do whatever whenever but for me that just means none at all and obviously you know i really do want that to change i want writing to be part of my routine again because it's been a long time since it's not since it kind of fell out of my routine with everything my daily routine my weekly routine just everything like that it just kind of feels like right now writing isn't really part of my life and it puts me in a bit of a difficult situation because obviously I still want to do my monthly writing vlogs it's just proving a bit difficult because I'm not actually doing anything and I feel like I just feel like I'm not really doing anything worthy of documenting I'm not doing anything that's worth documenting in a vlog as soon as this vlog goes up I'm going on hiatus to really focus on writing and also just other things I've got going on in my life right now because I think the main thing 
that's kind of holding me back from actually writing is just the sheer amount of adult things you know I've actually got to do and I don't want that to sound like an excuse I do have a lot going on right now I didn't quite comprehend when I finished education like how difficult this transition into adult life would be you know looking for a full-time job just a new job in general and now there is something that I would like to apply for so that's gonna take time because I've got to update my CV I've got to write a cover letter and I have no clue how and I just feel like I'm also just struggling to find the time to actually do that you know to update my CV and write a cover letter I've never wrote a cover letter in my bloody life I guess it kind of counts as writing though but also not really because it's not creative writing but this is just my life at the moment and obviously when I feel like things have settled down a bit more I will be able to kind of get writing back into my routine I think the main issue for me for the last couple of months is that I've been really just throwing myself into all of my YouTube work and I'm just feel like I just feel like I'm overloading myself a bit too much which means that I'm taking that time away that I used to have for actually writing September has just been a bit of a fluke obviously you know there have been some days when I've been able to get some work done it's not like I've done nothing at all I've been doing little bits when I could but it's really not been a lot I can even show you my writing session tracker so that's literally all I did in September I think that was when I had quite a lot of free time this is so far for October because obviously this vlog is kind of run into October. I just think the main thing for me is that I've been doing too much of one thing and I just need to try and even it out a bit more with my YouTube and writing and it is gonna be a while before I actually you know find that balance. In general September has just kind of been a month of again figuring things out and that's just kind of the way it's been since July. I just don't really know what else to say because I feel like I'm just always repeating myself but just I'm still adjusting, still trying to figure things, figure things out. And I keep saying that, you know, oh, I'm still really, I'm still trying to get back into a routine but really, I think that I'm too much into a routine and I just, everything at the moment feels kind of stagnant and I feel like I'm in a state of just stasis the majority of the time because I just feel like I'm not I haven't made much progress in my current part-time job and I have, haven't really had any other sort of training in my current part-time job it's not really a case of me trying to figure that out anymore I do think it's just going to be a case of getting a new job and I do think that is probably the best option for me now but in terms of writing in September I did do little bits like I did three hours three hours is better than zero hours and in October I'm gonna start a whole like October writing vlog like what I can actually get done during my hiatus and just kind of try and get back into that writing routine in my October writing vlog obviously it's October now but it's gonna be like a hiatus writing vlog so it'll be what I get done during my hiatus so it's gonna kind of throw off you know my monthly writing vlogs I am really looking forward to my hiatus simply for the fact that I know it will really help me to get back into just a routine with everything, get back into writing, get it back into like my weekly routine because it used to be that I would do it, I want to say two to three times a week because it used to be that take Monday for an example, if I did something on Monday writing wise, the next time I would do something like that would probably be Wednesday or Thursday and then saturday or sunday and that used to really work for me so while i really want to figure out a writing routine again i just know that finding a new writing routine will be incredibly difficult i just feel like i really need to just shake things up 
and just change up my routine and everything like that because I just want different I just want something different in my life and I know that writing will bring me that different feeling but I have talked for long enough now so when this video goes up my hiatus will be starting so my hiatus is going from the 13th of October to the 13th of November and then when I come back I will probably have a lot to update you on just with everything in my life because I've got a lot going on right now like I said I am going to leave this vlog here because it's getting closer to the time where I actually really need to get ready for work that is going to be it for this vlog if you enjoyed it somehow make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe down below and ding the bell to be notified for every single time i upload all of my social media links will also be down in the description i will definitely be trying to be more active over on instagram during my hiatus if you'd like to keep up to date with everything thank you so much for watching and i will see you when i return from my hiatus on the 13th of november which is a saturday by the way bye